welcome back. So now we have the data logic layer ready here to use, or data access layer, call it what you want. Um, and we want to build our first controller. We want to try to access this data right here somehow and see what we actually get back. So I want to build just like we, oh, that wasn't what I wanted. Just like we did with the, the other controller setup, we can go in and add a new controller now, right? The difference is we do not want to return an HTML page. We want to return something called JSON, and I'll show you that later. So I'll go into the controller here. I'll say add controller, right? I right click just like we did with MVC. I right click the controller, say add controller. Notice it's almost the same, right? But instead of picking MVC controller with views, we're going to say a web API to controller with actions using the entity framework. What? What? We? Yeah. We, well, we just pulled in the entity framework, so. Everything should be running right away. Let's say add. It should pop up and ask us what kind of model do you want to use. Oh well, just like with the MVC setup, we can pick a model here. Great. Uh, what model do we want? Well, we want to start out with just showing a wish. That's the goal. And we're going to use the context. That's going to be the person app context. Now you have two in here. The other one is actually the one we built for security. That's the one that came with the application. We're going to look at that later as well. But this is the one we made inside our permanent person application data logic layer, right? And we're just going to keep the wishes controller right here and we'll say add. And it'll scaffold it just like it did with MVC. It'll try and make the actions ready for us just like it did with MVC. And we can now try and call our first thing in here. Let's have a look at what it actually built. So it made a wishes controller. So now we can say slash wishes. Okay. It made some kind of API slash wishes here that we can actually get. So let's try and do that in the browser. Let's start, start this up while I explain more. I just launched the application and I'll talk a bit more about it. Notice again, we're using the app context directly. We don't want to do that. We want to use our beautiful um, facade and everything. The, the, the repositories, not the managers, the repositories. We want to use those just like we build in the, in the last lessons in the MVC. We want to use those instead of the context directly, just like with the MVC, right? So we can now get wishes. Guess what? We can also get a single wish. We can also put a wish into the database or actually update a wish. We can actually also go in and we can post a wish to create a new wish and we can delete a wish, right? So we have the full CROD set already just out of the box. Everything is running. So it should be started now. And here we have our setup. So if I do something like slash wishes or API, sorry, API slash wishes, it should actually pop up with all the wishes available in my database. Now it's going to do the same that we did with the entity framework. In the MVC solution, it's actually going to build the database for us, populate the database, and here we have our three wishes shown in some very simple uh, XML structure. Now we don't want that, we want JSON. So let's have a look at converting from XML to JSON in the next lesson. See you next time.